In today's video, we're going to take a look at what to do when your computer hard drive goes bad, but you just no longer need it. Stick around, take a look. Hey everybody, my name is Andrew, and I've been working on some wall art for the computer room here using some old computer components that I've had laying around. Uh, I previously did a video with an uh, old motherboard of mine, and it really turned out good. I like the way that it looks. I uh, wanted to keep that theme going, so I've, I've taken some old computer hard drives, tore them apart, uh, just made a simple shadow box out of it, wanted to show it to you. Uh, take a look at it. Thanks. So the first thing in this project I did was measure and cut some acrylic pieces. I like the way acrylic looks when it's done, and it's fairly easy to work with and inexpensive as well. Uh, to cut it, it's just a simple score line. You do need to go over it a couple of times, but score it and then you just snap it off. And once you're done with that, just do a quick test fit into that shadow box. In this case, it didn't need to be an exact fit, just pretty close. I did, uh, using the little labels, or these little plates here, I did cut them with a jigsaw to give, give them some shape. And once that was done, I just pre-drilled the holes for the mounting screws. I had some uh, carbon fiber wrap laying around that I thought might look pretty cool on this when it was done. Just kind of cut to measure it a little bit and wrap it up pretty good. And just a little dab of glue on the back to secure it. I think it turned out pretty good. Once that's done, uh, a few measurements just to get the center lines on this piece of acrylic here. You may notice here that I ended up using a smaller shadow box. I added some grand ideas for this that just didn't look all that great. It started getting cluttered up, so I simplified it and made it a little bit smaller, but same concept. It was a little bit of measuring of hard drives, just getting my lines correct and the layout perfect. You could choose any layout you like. Um, I played with several different layouts, and this is the one that I like the best. Anyways, once I got it all laid out there, just marking the holes to mount that directly to the acrylic. Now to go ahead and test fit these little plates, make sure everything's lined up the way that I like it. And a little bit of drilling here, nothing too difficult. I've got the protective uh, pieces on that acrylic. I'll remove them later. I really like the look of a hard drive read right head, so I thought that would make a good accent piece. And we'll just get the holes mounted for that. Um, I used some standoffs here, just made out of acrylic, to uh, get the hard drives off of the surface. I just glued those on to the acrylic itself. Once that's done, it's just a matter of mounting those hard drives directly onto that. Easy to do. They don't need to be tight or anything, just enough to hold it on there. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and test fit the read right head and make it look good. And I have this standoff kit and I'll use those to mount these plates. I experimented with several different layouts and this is the one that looked the best. These cables are kind of hard to get straight, but I'm not going for perfection here, just got to look good. Do a couple of quick test fits here. Everything fits good, and we'll use a little bit of glue. I used acrylic glue from a previous project, but any glue would work just to hold it down. And I went ahead and removed the protective coverings at this point. For the background, I used just some paper from the craft store and then lay the assembly right over the top of it. There's the back side of that finished project. Anyways, we'll get the top back on and I think it turned out great. Well, there you have it. I think it turned out great. It's a fairly simplistic piece, fun to do. If you've got some old hard drives laying about, consider tearing them apart, sticking them in a shadow box and get them up on the wall. It'll look great up next to that motherboard and uh, stick around. I've got some more ideas. I'll do some more pieces coming up. Thanks. Have a good day.